Right, welcome back to the next session. As I announced before, we're looking now into the actual thrust value at full power as well. So you see a slight change of setup here. We got a pretty standard kitchen scale, which is of a resolution of one gram. Um, and pretty basically, um, the plane is gonna push against that scale on the max thrust and indicates how much thrust is going to be produced. Now, we got a couple of losses in that system when we consider doing the thrust measurements as I just described, of course. There's a bit of a friction, frictional force in, in the wheel, in the landing gear, of course, as well. Now, one idea to minimize that offset is, is obviously to work out how much um, force or weight in that sense is used to actually um, move the plane forward. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tear that scale to zero and I'm gonna be pushing against the tail and see when the aircraft is starting to move and then read the value from the scale. So scale shows zero now. And actually used about 40 grams to move that plane forward. So this is something we later on deduct from our actual value. Now, let's get the setting back up. I doubt you could see it, but I read 439 grams as maximum thrust. Um, I did it for, I think, four to five seconds, and it decreased um, within those four to five seconds to 434. Now, the battery was fully charged, but of course, because we drain quite high current at full power, the voltage of the battery drops as you keep on asking for that high power, so hence why we've got a bit of a drop there. But if you, if you calculate something between 440 and 430 as an average value for a full charge battery, you'll be absolutely fine.